everyone, Mr. Shorkin here, and we are on the cuffs of history in the making. This is the Sony PlayStation event live, and I am covering, well, the responses to it. It's going to be around a two-hour event, and they're going to be revealing some of the games coming out, and we have ten minutes to go for it to officially launch. So, what do I know you're like, what are you going to what are you can talk about for this? It's like, ex expectations? What do you expect? It's like, I really don't know what to expect. I really hope they reveal some really beautiful games and really cool concepts, like in terms of like game design. I really do want there to be some HD versions of like some really old games. Like I want them to show the capabilities of a really like maybe a game that was released for the PS2 and just be like, hey, we're gonna get you back this game completely remastered, because we're at the remastering phase right now in life. And there's gonna be like, hey, Take this remastering of this great game and just like see how beautiful it looks on the PS5. I will admit also because this is normally the E3 E3 time, it's really great to have this type of content. So we can be like, yeah, this is a video game hype because it's the world's just been crap. There's no dying it. Nine, that just things have not been good, and it's nice to see some change that pays. Just be like happy, go lucky. It's like yeah, this is awesome, and I don't want to die. You know, stuff like that. So, due to the fact that I am covering this, um, unfortunately, um, I don't know at the moment if I'll be able to take a look at Fire Emblem Three Houses in the next chapter. Because of that, I might wake up relatively early tomorrow. I have to wake up early tomorrow anyway, because I have to cover Artemis Fowl for the review. But, um, yeah, and also, big announcement. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to announce this because I'm just like, hey, you guys want to know what type of content is coming out for this upcoming month? And I, I don't blame you. You want to know what's coming out. Like, in terms of video, video content, like, what's coming up? And I like to announce this good because I bought an SD card for my Nintendo Switch. So that means I can download more stuff. So I'm definitely looking forward to the Isle of Armor and more Smash DLC. No content on that at the moment. I'm just like, ooh, very excited for that. But also, that means I did trying to stop doing the series, but I feel like I have to end the series correctly. So, I'm going to do a special two-part finale for Devilish Demos. Devilish Demos will officially end. I found two games, and I'm like, yeah, I'll download demos for that. And they'll be on the same day. It'll be next week. Uh, the first one will be the earlier one, and then it'll end at 2 p.m. the series finale. So I can just be like, yeah. That was uh, Devilish Demos. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. <laughs> So yeah, Devilish Demos did not go with play, and I was like, oh, this would be a fun way to just do some demo games, but it just didn't work. Um, and so forth. So, yeah. That was going to be fun. I'm going to sit down now, because I'm relatively tired. I had a fun, 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 fun day. I'm rel again relatively tired, because I woke up at, um, I couldn't sleep last night. I had insomnia, which is the worst. Because you're just like, ah, don't talk to me, I'm trying to sleep. And then you're like, there's an idea in my head, and it's just like, oh, that'd be cool. And so I close my eyes and ponder an idea, and I don't relatively sleep. It is very odd. Um, what was happening in terms of content? We're going to do Fire Emblem Three Houses, which I'm looking forward to. This month might have the most videos. Wouldn't surprise me. July, I am going to have to load up back my PlayStation 4, and then do some you know how stuff. Which I think will be May, month of July. July is going to be fun. It really is. I'm so looking forward to the movie theaters coming back open. I'm just going to be like, yeah, I'm going to sit back, relax, and go see Tenet. Because Tenet and Mulan come out the same month. I forgot Mulan was coming out in July. So uh, I was kind of pondering. It's like, what movies are coming out in July? It's like, I'm missing something. And I have this list of just like what I'm going to review this these upcoming months. I'm like, Bill and Ted twice. But it's like, why am I reviewing Bill and Ted so late? Or so early. And then I was like, oh, that. <laughs> and then I was like, oh. One movie I'm generally interested in, I will review this now. I'm planning on reviewing Guns Camino. A Camino. I have it, I have it downloaded. So I'm just like, yeah, it looked interesting. It's a new movie. That's mainly why I wanted to review it. Like, it's a new movie. A. <laughs> B. It's just like, it's, it's Daniel Radcliffe. I don't think you're wrong with Daniel Radcliffe. I've not seen him in a horror movie yet. Just do it. Wait, okay, what games do you guys think is going to be revealed? Um, I don't know. I, I want to tease it for this. Because we do, we all know it's in development, and I don't 
really know it's in development, I don't want them to straight up reveal it. I want them to tease it for a Spider-Man game. Spider-Man 2, I love the first one. The first one was great, it was beautiful, it was like, oh my gosh. Great way to start off on my PlayStation Live. And I think that'd be a great idea. The question is, will Square Enix represent anything? Uh, I don't think so. I, I highly doubt it if they do. I mean, I'd be generally surprised. Um, I feel like they're going to reveal some remasters. I hope they announce the Harry Potter game. Because I, I hope, like, a Harry Potter game, I'll just look at my Lego Harry Potter stuff and like, oh yeah, Lego Harry, po uh, Harry Potter stuff. I hope they announce the Harry Potter thing. So we all knew about the Harry Potter RPG that was supposed to come out, the leaked footage, and we're just like, oh boy, that'd be great to see. Stay tuned! Okay, that's been added. So, um, hold on. I'm checking what time it is, actually. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 12.56. Okay, so it's 12.56. That's going to be a four. This might be a good time to get someone you care about. Just ask them to make a call. That was odd. I was going to be Alexa. And it's in where I'm working, just like, what time is it? Because I don't actually have my walk phone with me, because I just want to be like, I want to enjoy this thing directly, and I don't have the time on my computer showing, and I'm just like, okay, hey, what time is it? And so forth. Um, so, yeah. Running for myself. What, what games have you guys all been playing during this COVID thing? Uh, I, 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 I had this during December, and I have not picked it up since January. And that is Pokemon, um, uh, Pokemon Shield. I got Pokemon Shield for Christmas, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll play it. No, Sword. Shield is what I bought opening day, and I was like, I'll, I'll play Sword. And I am on the second gym. My team is really crappy, but that's to be expected. At the same time, like, I have plans for that game next year. Wait to see. <laughs> but no, um, this month is definitely crazy. Um, in terms of what's going on, I generally, in terms of videos, have to play. It's like, I wish I didn't have to postpone Fire Emblem later. The music just got awesome to indicate that it's awesome now, and I'm like generally hyped. Um, I wish this wasn't delayed a week, but at the same time, it's like last week was not the best time to do it. Um, I don't think times have really changed. I think it's a whole lot better than it was a week ago. Um, you're like, oh, this is short. What do you think? About what happened? It's like it's horrible. What happened? Backlash is understandable. I read this art, read this article. It was like, uh, yeah, I loved it. There's a show called Paw Patrol where there's this dog that uh, it's called Ace. He's not Case. And he's a police dog. Everyone's like, we need to stop representing good cops on television. And so there's an article by Anya saying viewers are stra uh, creators defend Paw Patrol episode where Ace shoots an African American in the back 17 times. Now, that is wrong, but I found it funny because it was a kid show. I generally did. You know, I don't like the I, uh, pretend I believe in escapism. Personally, in terms of media, I watch media to escape reality. I don't watch it to, um, as a way to, like, it's like, not as, like, I want to represent my reality. I don't want to represent my reality. I want it to be a work mention the stuff in the reality can fine. Make it a fictitious thing. I'd rather I believe in it saying there's all the best. The actual time is Alexa, what time is that? Only one minute remains. So oh, yepper. Um in the comments section tell me what you guys are looking forward to. I'm not doing this live. I like it better when I'm just like here. Like the live stuff is complicated and it makes things more difficult. So it's everything difficult. Also, I'm meaning to try something else, so it's like, hey, I'm gonna try this. So it's like, okay, what do you want to try with? It's like, I'm trying the Roku device for capturing because my Minix updated to YouTube and it's horrible, it doesn't run anymore. It just makes everything depressed again. Like, <laughs> dare you. Um, I hope next week the Smash character is revealed. I feel like Masahiro Sakurai is gonna be like, hey guys, uh, Next week, we're gonna do a uh, Sakurai plays, and like I'm gonna talk about the arms character. And he'll be like, Yes, Sakurai, who's the arms character? Even though. Isn't the consensus now that it's Min Min? I feel like it is. It's, it's probably Min Min. If I was a betting man, I'd be like, Yeah, Min Min. It'd be Min Min. It has to be Min Min. I broke my nail. It's always a pain. The thing is, it's like, 
mostly destroyed. It's like three quarters of the way destroyed. So if I like rip it off, it stings and it's just like it bleeds. It's like it break my nails a lot. I don't mind. I don't mind. On, thumb is where I hate it the most. I don't mind it on other fingers. I hate it on the point index because I use the index the most. Middle finger, I don't mind. I don't use the middle finger that much. I'd be surprised when it hits on the back. But my ring finger hits a lot. My ring fingers are oddly like the way they're designed are really weird. It, it's it's weird. I'm talking about fingers. But the events could be starting so gone. It's been a minute. I've at least talked for a bit. It, it should be going. Stay tuned. Yes, it's starting! Okay, starting! Okay! Mm-hmm. Oh, it's the triangle. <laughs> it's just gonna be the triangle, the circle, the square. It's just gonna be all of that. But it looks beautiful. Nicely animated, I'll give it that. Yeah, that's the circle, now I see. Because it's the controller scheme. I don't have my controller with me, it's somewhere. Where it's the X, the triangle. Yeah, the X, the triangle, the square. Yeah, those are the shapes. <laughs> I couldn't name the same shapes. It's just simple shapes, and like I couldn't remember them. I'm even looking now at like, my PlayStation box a little bit because I I keep my PlayStation stuff. I I'm still looking forward to this. Ooh. So far, it's beautiful. Oh, classic Sony logo. Ninety-four. Oh, Crash Bandicoot two thousand. I like the hand we've been dealt. What? Hey, God of War! PS4, oh my god. That's the most beautiful game on the PS4. Really playing? Okay. I'm trying. I love the Jarred, I haven't even played it. Oh, Hunger Geek! God of War. Yes, Final Fantasy, but I just like seeing that in the Guardian. Oh, they're just so. Oh, the music persona. Okay. Uh, that's part two, I think that's You, me, together, we were destined for something great. Oh, that's beautiful. Why did oh. I move here? I guess it was the weather. Hello, Grandpa Tao. Or the, ah, I don't know, that thing. That magic. Yeah. I like how the PS4 is more. Cool They're probably gonna be like, and then PS5 graphics on top of them. Like I don't like Grand Theft Auto. I really don't. don't like my job. Team. My score. Get your own. All the rides are 50 cents, so take those things. I don't like rap music, though. Like in the music. We should talk about work. We all love banks. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> Get me a DJ. I still love the music. Get out of this party. Take it out of this party. Oh, my. This cannot be traced back to me. I'm going to start it after that great introduction. Champagne, anyone? Just sort of smash things. Oh, hello. Great start. Gone. Are these just celebrating the modders? No way. Oh my god, what the hell? Dress is out five. Expand and set it in hand. Going 21 to play. That looks awesome! You said PlayStation 4 in the top corner! I won't buy that. I'm like, what am I gonna see? Okay, controller time. Okay, GTA on one. Ooh! That's kinda nice. Very name, GTA is going to get. What will they get? Oh, they'll get PlayStation Plus. 
Okay. One million. Oh, he'll have one million dollar Indian cat. Okay, that's kind of worth it. I'm on text, but okay. I like the intro. That was a horrible. You know, like the, the introduction was great, and it's like Grand Theft Auto. Okay. It still looks sexy. Hey, it was great hello, to kick today off with a look back at just some of the seminal moments of the last 25 years. And what better way to bridge our past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console, Grand Theft Auto. Oh. It's been a privilege partnering with Rockstar Games for many years okay. now. And we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue with PlayStation 5. It's now hey, just over a year since we began sharing technical details of PlayStation 5. But today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years. Hey, we get to show Don't you me. just some of the games that demonstrate our belief that PlayStation 5 mocks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. Okay. The content we've curated for today's event showcases how PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences oh, yeah, that you are have to share the technology with the and companies. how they look, sound, and feel. Enough from me. We're going to have the games do our talking. Okay, first game, first game. Come on, be good. Be beautiful. Okay, it's, it's captured on the PS5 systems. Okay, that's good to know. Ooh, the PlayStation, oh yeah, they launched that. Automatically, I'm invested. A hero is just someone who doesn't give up. <gasps> Your dad said that. He was right. <laughs> Now it's you. He took a smile like his wish art. Go be a hero, Miles. Oh my gosh! Okay. Let's do this. Oh, oh my gosh! It's, it's the Witcher game. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's so beautiful. Whoa! Hello? Oh my gosh! And he's using his really powers. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! So we did it! It's a spin off! Oh my gosh! Holy 2020! Oh my gosh! Okay, take my money. I'll, I'll buy that. It's great! Oh my gosh! えっと、今日は皆さんに僕らが作っている新しいグランツーリスモの情報をシェアできるということで、すごく興奮しています。え、今回のグランツーリスモはおそらくこれまでのグランツーリスモのファンの方がえ、プレイしたら本当に嬉
moment, and then just like, no. With that, I'm. I'm not invested in this. I feel this lack of luster now. She's like, oh, I'm It's like, no, this is plain. Okay. Okay, no, I'm not It is. I was thinking something this big to show up. Saw them some for the evening. I'm just really excited. But um, this is the type of car racing games I like. I only like the car racing games like the uh, like Mario Kart, where it's kind of third person, first person, but it's third person in a way. Right to the back. I don't really like this whole thing. It's kind of distracting. Yeah, I can't see the road that well. In my opinion. Oh, oh it looks uh, it looks okay. The miles even look better. We just, again, start up big and then she kind of like, eh. Unless there's like a nuke or something that just like, boom, blows you away. But, no, there's not. Okay, that was it. Okay. Okay, PS Studios. I'm gonna sit back down. I was just like, Miles is like a high. Oh, hello. This looks kind of cute, actually. What is this? I'm waiting for like a giant. Yeah, like so. Oh my gosh, it's Ratchet and Clank! Oh my gosh! You're right back to. No way. It appears that the dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we cannot get to. Get to. Right, the ship. I mean, we can't be that far. I like this. This looks nice. They have Finally got a new Ratchet and Clank game. It's been a while, actually. I'm not I'm happy. Oh, that was cool. Slow down, please. This is like one of those like cards. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Whoa. Oh my god. Dimensions are weakening considerably. Oh wow. How bad is it? Oh my gosh. This looks great. Well, it is certainly not good. Great. This game has so much potential already. It looks fantastic. Oh my god. This is better than the racing game show. Wow. Whoa, okay, that looks awesome. Oh, so it looks like an on rail military reaction unit. Oh my god. There's gonna be like a wrench playthrough in this reveal game after already. <laughs> oh my god. No, Blake! What's the plot with here? Oh, he, he transports to another dimension, so I imagine you could only you play both Ratchet and Clank Ratchet. And separately. We are too late. Oh! Ratchet. Oh, hello! Oh! Rift Parts! Okay, so there's a new Ratchet type character. That's the same species. Okay, that's interesting. Interesting. I like it. Hi, I'm Marcus Smith, creative director at Insomniac Games. Yes, Insomniac. The entire studio I love is so excited to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, a brand new, full length, interdimensional adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5. Insomniac We're doing things great. we've never been able to do before, like use dimensional rifts to be able to leap from planet to planet nearly instantly, or put ray oh, yeah, trace reflections on Clank. All of our alien worlds are filled with density and life previously unseen. Plus, Ratchet's all-new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the DualSense controller's enhanced feedback. Ratchet and Clank are near and dear to our hearts at Insomniac, and we can't wait to share more with you in the future. But for now, here's another look. Yes! I, I, I like this game so far. It hasn't even messed Use L to do the rip. Oh, okay. That? that looks cool. That really is. Oh man. If this is what they had planned for E3, I'd be like, yeah, they're probably winning at this one. I think Spider Man won for me, but automatically Ratchet and Clank, I was pleasantly surprised at this already. It looks good. I don't play much Ratchet and Clank games, I'm watching that. I, I want to play this. If I get a PS5, like, starting games, I'll get this Spider Man game, and this. Spider Man would be the first thing I play in this. A Kraken? Or at least a very large octopus. <laughs> That's what a Kraken is! This looks like chaos! I, I love it. 
Yeah, I think I so dumb. This doesn't have to be any lag. Great. As long as there be lag on it, like, there's no lag at all. It's just ice. Nothing on it. Normally on this there'd be like lag. But there is a lag. Yeah. I kind of wish he was doing a worse job. He must have more plans than this one needs to be a great game. A lot of effort went into this. Wow. And PlayStation 2 directly made him more hands on down with the PlayStation 5 than probably anyone any other game developer. Like Microsoft Studios, like for the CDU X, they probably know more about how to use the software. Nintendo, they do know how to use the software or program for that software on the Switch. So they probably know how to use it together. But I like the idea of grabbing them so close, but that's actually a good idea. I like it. It looks like the card came shooting up. Got I That's where I can play in essentially, like um, Jack and Jack. But I don't really like shooting. Like, I like the cartoon aspect of things. I like this funny aspect. Cartoon aspect. Of things. Yeah, just, that's awesome. Good job. Oh my gosh. Great. Great. Just carry that high with Spider-Man. Catch her on the PS5. It looks great. The story of the PS5's price yet. Because you sold me, and then you're gonna be like, it's $500. It's like, well, guess I'm gonna be homeless. Take my money, PS5. It looks beautiful. It really does. What just happened? Oh, <gasps> thanks! Luminous Productions. What now? In a world not her own, they are to resolve and be tested. Truths will be questioned. Devotion will be doubted. This is the final fantasy. She will rise. No, it's Tomb Raider. Whoa! Whoa, that's epic. Whoa. Or is it new IP? It's new IP, it has to be. That just felt epic. Wow. Project Athea. Ooh. It's called Athea. That's the character name. Oh my gosh, that dragon looks awesome, like fire and heart. Oh my gosh. This oh my gosh, that's gonna be great. That was unexpected, but beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's the next game? This is a high right now. Cyberpunk? No. Cyberpunk is paired with Xbox. Haunting? I like it. Rest in peace. Oh! This is post apocalyptic type of stuff. A robot and a cat. Sounds like a build up to a bad joke. Oh! There's homeless robots, that's interesting. No escape. Love them, buddy cat. Oh. Do you play as the cat? Yeah, that seems like it'd be a focus. Do you see the backpack and just now as a drone? So I like this idea of like robots having civilizations. And I feel like trying to be like, we avoid this type of purgatory. And like they actually ended up being their own failure. I suppose. Yeah, you have to play the cat. It's a cute cat. And the trailer looks nice. Yeah. Aww. I don't like cats. Oh, Stray. Okay, that's a nice name to it. I'd like to know more about it before I'm like, yeah, awesome. 2021. Okay, more time to work on it. That's good. I like the idea of like, more time to work on the game. It looks nice. The, X. the triangle. The is square. The X. The square. PS5. I'm sorry that I'm snoring a lot. Okay, 4K Blu-ray. That's great. I can finally buy 4K Blu-ray movies now. 
high, ultra high processing SD. That looks pretty. Ray tracing, ooh. Okay. Okay, we've seen the controller. It looks beautiful, Dual Shock 5. Too bad the internet's already ruined it with fan art. Adaptive triggers. Ooh. That's interesting. USB port? I think that's just a charging port. Built in microphone. Headset jack. Okay. Oh my gosh. 3D audio. I like that gear. No, don't kill the deer with a mushroom cloud. Don't you dare! No, it's a stag, not a deer. But... Yeah, I'm gonna be careful about that because I read Harry Potter on the Making games used to be about these constant trade-offs between the artistic vision and technical limitations. With PS5, we're not gonna be burdened like that. We're gonna be able to realize our artistic vision a lot better. That's it's great, got Herman. a ton of horsepower, that's which is very easy to unlock, and it's a, a machine that's really easy to develop on. The PS5 will present a paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming. Will let us tell stories, make worlds, create gameplay that I think will truly captivate the player and really surprise quite a few people. Please take a look at this new franchise for Worldwide Studios, coming exclusively for PlayStation 5. Okay, I'm already invested. What is it? You built it up, Herman. What is it? What is it? PlayStation Studios. Again, I like PlayStation Studios. They're doing great. Over and over, I relive my first moments on this alien planet. It's actually kind of nice. Like, it looks pleasant. The crash. The attack. There are. My death. <laughs> oh, okay. She has the particular guy thing. The attack. Oh. My death. It's like a, it's like that Live Diary TV with Tom Cruise. Cycle. At least, not at least yet. Oh my god. Is no escape. Is that um? Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow different, as if changing. This world is becoming part of me, infecting my mind, my memories. Hmm. The longer I spend here. The more I can feel my sanity slip away. But I cannot lose hope. Oh, that's scary at all. Yeah. My only choice is to keep fighting. Yeah, you go, girl. To keep looking for answers. My only hope is to break the cycle. I'm invested already. Breaks me. I, not a game I could play, but just like the story. Eternal. Also, I was being quiet. I was like, the story seems more interesting than the gameplay itself. Which I like. You have to have good play, good thing, play and a good story for me to be like, yeah, I'll, I'll buy it. That's why Spider-Man games looks like, yeah, I'm automatically hooked. I'd like to know more about it, even though it's supposed to come out this year. Okay, PlayStation Studios? Okay. Oh, Sumo. I don't hear. What? The heck? I just saw the tire limb. What is this? Oh my freaking god. It's a little big planet. I, as soon as I saw the zipper, I was like, yes, that boy, a big adventure. I don't play much little big money, I really should. I like the music. And this is a, they, they pride themselves on being um, not really story based, more like creative based. Which, is this game maybe more story based then? That can kind of get the hot one. Which is an odd thing for me to say. It just reminded me of Disney films, by the way. Oh, Disney Universe. Blah. 
completely underrated, underappreciated. Just because it's backwards design. And the Eddie. Yeah, it, it looks nice. I definitely, I'm glad we got some more little big fire. Oh, hey, go up. I assume. Yeah, go up. Sakura. It looks just like ultra cartoon violence, which I love. I like to know more about that new character. The costumes are nice. Like... They better have Steven Fry voice the narrator. But it just looks like an awesome party game, like, entirely awesome. Like, I see me and my fr uh, friends will be doing that, and just be like, we're just gonna have to fun, we're gonna play some real big fun. It looks so much. It just looks fun too. Oh my gosh, that looks so um, awesome. Sackboy, a big adventure. Yeah, I play. It looks fun. Oh, he's tired. Let's turn behind him. You me? Oh, I think it'd be awesome if they revealed the guys from the Little Big Planet 5, was it? Or 4? With the big guy, the dog, and the bird? Okay, new game. Who? What am I. Oh, what am I watching? I just have a furry character, and I was playing with the Zard. Is this like a weird cartoon right here? Oh my gosh, it's the Thunderdome. No, this has to be designed by Rocket League people. It feels like Rocket League, they're just like destruction. Oh, even hotter. Okay, feels like Fortnite and Rocket League have a low shot. This has been the same to you that made Rocket League. It feels so similar. This will definitely be an eSport. Really fast. Like, I think a pawn release will become an eSport. An eSport that you like follow around it really fast. I feel like that's a given. I don't. That looks like an all rush character. Ugh, okay. What was it? Shit. I love the character design, the card design with this. Ooh, what the hell? Okay, let me go just Transformers on. Okay. El Diablo. Oh, oh, okay, that's cool. I'm not gonna lie about that, that looks cool. Like, I, I want a car like that. I doubt a car like that actually exists, but I wish there was. Destruction All Stars. Sorry, I was looking at my capture card like, is that something I see? But I was like, no. Not as much. Oh, okay, randomly stopped. Whew. Hello, everyone. My name is Josh Greer, and this is my brother Mike. We're from Ember Lab, a small team with a background in film and animation. Oh, and we're okay. very excited today to share with you the first look at our new game. It's a story full of adventure and charm that has themes in personal growth and redemption. See, I so like the idea enjoy. of filmmakers making games because they know what story works and big, big game people can program that. Alright, I'm invested. Aww. <laughs> like a massacre happened. I know you are Ember Lab. Cold. You sense the power that flows through this land. Yet, you do not fully understand it. Whoa! Okay, that looked awesome. That's even cooler. Driven by the belief that you can help these troubled spirits. Oh my gosh, this looks beautiful! I keep saying that a lot, you don't I? Not hide your weakness from me. Oh, that's the villain! You have no power here, Kena. Oh my gosh, this world itself is beautiful, and the story just like sucks you in, and it, it looks like Pikmin. It is Pikmin! It's essentially Pikmin! Oh, I like the main character girl a lot better. And do you have like magic? Oh my gosh, yeah, I like the West, the 
Eastern Ascending. Oh my god. Get in my head. That's awesome! Oh my gosh! I just love Fantasy World. Wow! It's probably the best fantasy game I've seen all day. Oh! Okay. What's it called? It has to be called, yeah, kind of Bridge of Spirits. I'm going to have to add that to my continuously watch, see what developments happen with it. No release date yet, I imagine it's 2021. That's my guess. If it doesn't say 2020, I'm going to assume at least 2021 or 2022. Okay, new reveal! I think the cost reveal is just like reveal, reveal, reveal. It worked. Oh! What now? Do you ever feel like you're people. just waiting for a sign? To do that thing you've always meant to do. Oh! These are dinosaur... Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing teenagers. on the edge of doing great things. Volcano high! But something's holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose, might as well jump. I know nothing about this. The animation is great. Five volcano high. You don't think it's a game? Go up for the. It's a volcano high. Yeah, I figured that means a game. I'm. End of an era. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. I'd rather it came out for the end of an era, but also. I know nothing about the game. They didn't show off any gameplay for me. You just said, like, yeah, I want to play that. It's just like, meh. Nothing. But I, I want to. That's one of the games I probably could add to my list along with the Kenya game, like, so if I kind of have to follow through its development cycle. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, and I'm here to share with you a game that I've been dying to make. Odd it's an emotionally Lanning. engaging story where rescuing is rewarding, failure is devastatingly hilarious, and the memories should last <laughs> I, like, you a life. I, like, just sell that to me already. Take a look. Devastatingly hilarious. I'm Magni, I'm hooked. Oddworld happens with You are no longer a slave, eh? Oh! They believed, trusted, followed, and it led them here. You What's may going have on? escaped the murderous blades, but the fate of your entire people. What now? Is up to you. <laughs> what am I watching? Literally, it's so weird to kind of have to what the sides for me? It's kind of like a what the Oh! Oh my fuck! Let's play a game! <laughs> I had some soccer in this. That's what it looks like. It looks like it was the most massacre of all of them. Oh, I see it. Please give me that. It's so odd. I think the last time this was like. You must find your full voice! There's no way they made it in uh, Odd World Soul Storm. I may have to follow that too. Let's see if it's any good. 2020 or 2021? It looks more done. No release date, so I'm going to assume 2021. Unless totally anything I was going to say. PlayStation 5 and you're dead. Oh, hello. I'm going to go to the Tokyo Museum. 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 Oh, Ghostwire! I'm going to go to the Supernatural oh, I heard about this. So Kony Somu, Kyoito, Utskusao, Santo Tikai Tomas. Zehi, Otanashi Kurasai. 
I'm in, I, I've heard of the Ghostwire, so I'm generally, I'm generally looking forward to this. I'm not like, Ghostwire, what's Ghostwire? He's like, oh, Ghostwire! It's like, it looks good. Oh my gosh, this is like Blade Runner amazing. You see things others can't. Hear threats others don't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, this is. Oh, that's some scary ass shit. Fight when others won't. Oh, yeah, I already know this one. It's, it looks beautiful. It's up to you to save Tokyo. Burn! Oh, first person. I remember it being first person. It would be the same, it would be. The demon mask, okay. Sick demon teacher, I refuse to destroy all of human. That was scary as shit with the girl with no head. I was like, oh. Man, it looks visually appealing. I, I, it's probably not my type of game. I like the tower though, that was cool. Oh, what now? Okay. In Japanese words, okay. The words are your weapon. Too many, many people would say the words are weapon. Oh, uh, yeah, this is not my type of game. But this was interesting, like, visually. Like, feel smart. If I would not scare everything that's just weird. Oh, Bethesda, makes sense. I would be like, yeah, I play this, but it's just uh, not a cup of tea. Okay, there's no review. Come on, I'm expecting something like really big, like the Miles game. I'm not expecting the review of Spider-Man 2. That's gonna be like the end of the that. I haven't aimed today, so you know I sound like Hmm? Um, I'm just kind of confused. Um, that's how I'll take it. I'm, I'm confused by this. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just weird. Not like what I imagine right away. It's just like, eh. It's here. Okay, the rocket launching. Oh, it's from the middle of space, too. Are about a future for a people haunted by oblivion. I love that title already. Propelled by dreams. Oh, this is about the space race, isn't it? It has to be about the space race. You can't call if it wasn't. Or the allegory of the space race. Year Zero. Year 3, Year 4, Year 5, Year 6, Year 7, Year 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Oh! So is this... I don't know anything about this. Is the game plays not support anything? Is it like a civilization building game? Whoops. Alright. For what it is, I don't think graphics are anything I know about. Hello, the Soyuz capsule. That's gonna be like... The monkeys have taken over. Watch this is secretly a plan of the game. I would laugh at that happened, to be honest. I'm like, uh, or it might just be one of those games where you're just like, okay, the far, gem? Gem? Gem the far short? Holiday 2020. Ah. Even that could be just like a Zen game people play, but I don't know. The song is by Stemfic. Don't know who they are. Hello, exes. How are you? What? Gearbox Publishing presents. Oh, this is that new RPG they have a game they offer to show us. Oh yes. Are you parts of this actually? It looks familiar. At least. And these are like either some kind of god, but. I don't think the music works. This is my game. This game was so familiar. I swear we've seen it before. I 
where we have. Look at me now. Count me down. So give me the give me the crown, baby. Wait, what are you saying? Yeah, that's why like Steve where we play in God. Tell me I'm stubble. That's just be a fun like beat him up game, you know. I think the music works. We were in everything. Happy God. Godfall. Again, I feel like we've heard of it. Bill Holly 2020. I felt like we heard about this game already. I felt like we did. I could be wrong, but I felt like we already heard of that game. It looks nice, but my king just is peaked. It's not like, oh, I want to follow that. Maybe it's already up there, I'll follow it. In a room, heart machine. Um. Hollow Knight? It looks just like Hollow Knight. My opinion, at least. Okay, nope. Nope, you've lost me. You have lost me. You've lost me. I'm not interested anymore. If you have an interesting gameplay, then maybe, but I was like, nope, this is gonna be one of those games. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, she has rollerblades. Get it? It's the one game we can't ever get to Solar Ash. Okay. I'm not invested. I'm not like, hey, I want to play this day one. I'm like, Spider Man Rush Clink. 2021. Okay, so I can't play opening day. Good. But maybe someone will like it. It's a nice art design. I'll give it that, but as soon as they saw that creepy piece of afraid, that's my lock. So this is around two hour presentation. We're entering first hour. Okay. I O I. It was always gonna end like this. All your hard work, all your sacrifice, only sped up the process. I would say Assassin's Creed, but it's not. What? Okay, he did. I'm intrigued, guys. I'm invested. What's the plot? Oh, great. I can place the hunter, right? Watch and now, Predator. You find yourself alone. It's Hitman, isn't it? The version of Hitman. It looks beautiful. Oh, hi. Right. Cool. Only death awaits. Yep, I was like, it's Hitman. Hitman 3. Okay. I'm playing the Hitman. So you can reach me first. The early game. Okay. It's probably something related to COVID, but okay. 2021. Maybe that's because of COVID? Maybe it came out earlier? Hmm. Hakan Abrak here from Ion Tractive. In Hitman oh, 3, I -O -I. Agent 47 is back for his most intimate and professional contract in his entire career. This is also the dramatic conclusion for the World of Assassination trilogy. Oh, okay, it's the last game in the I'm series. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay where Agent 47 is on top of the world in Dubai. Enjoy. I'm intrigued. I like Assassin gameplay because I like the espionage aspect of it. And I'm kind of intrigued, like, Assassin 47 is a well-known video game character, so it could be interesting. Oh my gosh, the series looks great. If that's not enough to sell it- oh, and he's- okay, and he's in Dubai, which, oh. Okay, yeah, they're definitely going for, like, espionage stuff. I like it. I don't know guns ablaze, it would be like a stealthy killer. I love stealthy killers. 
Hitman 3. Okay, show us the gameplay. No gameplay. Okay, it was just like cutscene. I was expecting like the new like show shootout scene or something, or like actually like one section of the game. But no. See important health and safety warnings in the settings menu. Okay. I feel like that's the one thing that like everyone skips. Press the PlayStation on your controller. Okay. Hey, new game! Oh, hello. Oh, it's so cute. I don't say that much about robots. It's just like, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, it looks so great. I mean, like, lizard. Oh, please tell me you want to do a virtual attack type thing. Which has been sorely missing for PlayStation, but I feel like this, this is the guy from the PlayStation VR stuff. Oh my gosh, they're so they're so energetic and I love it. I will teach you. Astro's Playroom! I figured it was Astro. I just can't remember his name. It's like, what's his name? Astro! It's like, yeah, it's Astro. Oh, look nice! I feel like at the end I'd be like, here's the PlayStation console and here's the price. It's five thousand dollars. Um come on, something big, that was kinda cute. Something bigger. Come on. Hmm? Okay. Not how I thought this was gonna go. Giant freaking chicken, okay. A strange monster kind of reason? I like the music too, the music's great here. Oh, watch this is like some weird version of Cryptid Hunter. <laughs> that's kind of funny looking. Badass. <laughs> Those things look creepy. Oh, sand penguins, okay. And... Okay. Did you just shoot a bear in the ass? Oh, cool. Dear girl, I have no black. He d oh my gosh, that's funny. That's kind of funny. <laughs> yes, that's great. Show the milk like a bembe, and then we'll be sold. Just palms away. <laughs> Cause he took a shit. Oh, I love this cartoon violence. Over the top, and I love it. I don't know what the frick that is. It's like a mess of fairy. It's like fairy falls. Chicken pterodactyl. Fucking yeti. Oh. Some knights. I'm not gonna lie, I'm invested. That's one thing you have to get for me. I'm invested. Little devil in little devil inside. Okay. I'm invested in it. So What's up, everyone? I'm Zion Williamson of the New Orleans Pelicans. Here we go. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. Nope. Y'all are not ready nope. for this. Nope. I'm not. I don't care. NBA 2K. I don't like server host games. I really don't. Unless it's something like fucking awesome. No, I don't care. I say that as soon as like the lighting is great. I'm not gonna play this. I never played the NBA 2K21 games. Never do. I'm just I ain't trying to bring you down, but for real, I'm you might as well me. give up now. I think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Them. Got a real tight grip when I, I hold that out. crown. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever owns the place gotta try oh. me out. No, I do not support the Yankees business practices. So. Okay, sweat looks good. Sweat looks good. I don't mean to say I'm gonna strike. I know you. Where's the $500 loot box you can offer that money? Yeah! 2 k 21 Okay. Oh, cool. Life. Feel life. You show me gameplay? Fall 2020. No. Nope. I don't care, Ori. It's gonna be, it's gonna be horrible. I, I sense in my like, skeleton. It's like, yeah, it's gonna be awful. And yeah, you're probably right.
already much better game than NBA 2 time. NBA 2 time. It's a strawberry. This has to be good. This is something strawberry. Mark my words. Call it. Amazing. Aren't they? Half bug, half snack. <laughs> A very recently discovered species, entirely unique to this island. Oh, this one's lively. Beautiful seed patterns. Oh, my God. oh and it's a uh -oh. Welcome to the island of bug snakes. What? Yeah, looks like Jack Mark is dead. My invitation is open. Come join me on the island of Bugsnacks. <sighs> Liz! I, um, I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it, and uh, now the town's on fire. Oh, <laughs> again? It's Bugsnacks. Oh, my gosh. Bugsnacks. I love it. It looks, it looks, it looks like it has potential. It, it, it has a silver humor to it. Oh, the ice cream. The dessert's coming out nice. Oh, and they fuse together. Okay. All the way twenty twenty. It, it looks nice. It generally looks really family friendly, which I like. They're like, you're family friendly guys. Like, yeah, my language is important, but I'm just like, I love family friendly stuff. It, it's always impressive when you introduce a family friendly thing that like, appeals to everyone. Hmm. I'm waiting for something big to be revealed. Miles game just sold that. I was thinking of something like epic like that, like the Avengers game or like their Marvel project. I mean, yeah. Buddy. Oh, I feel something coming up my spice at this game. Hi everyone. Thank you for being with us today for this very special event. But before we get to the end of the show. I have something very near and dear to me. Okay. Don't end the show yet. I'm on this hype train already. PlayStation Studios. Let's promise two hours of material. Okay. Okay. It's a mountain again. So the I don't know if you want us to be impressed by. Okay, people moving. Call Cthulhu, call it Cthulhu cabin. Cthulhu destroyed the world. Right, Cthulhu. Oh. What the hell is that? I was kind of joking about Cthulhu. Oh my gosh, it's hell. The hell has ascended onto the earth with mutant freaking sneak rays. Death knights. This is a new Colossus game. It has to be something made by the Colossus team. These monsters are well designed. They look really weird and scary. I love it. I love the aspect of it. I feel like I should know what that is. But I just don't. Demon Souls. Okay, I'm intrigued. I probably won't play it, but I, my curiosity is piqued. Okay. Japan Studio, okay. Don't end the show like that. Destiny Please. is a next gen first person shooter about rival assassins locked in a time loop. This is our unique vision. <laughs> what Arkin was all about. Freeform immersive gameplay. <laughs> A surreal player-driven story 
the car is together. so stupid. Want to see some stylish action? I love it. Check this out. Dual rival assassins are locked in the room. We got to kill each other. <laughs> There's a movie about that with Reese Witherspoon. With uh, I believe it was Reese Witherspoon. Yeah, it was Reese Witherspoon. Hello, Black Reese. Cold, my predecessor, has been pronounced guilty of treason. He is to be shot on sight and forth in perpetuity. Your assistance is appreciated and mandatory. The real party doesn't start until he's dead. Okay. She is not uh, making this easy. Man. Welcome to Mother Russia. We wolf your ass here. No, someone's seen that dead body. Okay, that new. The concept sounds stupid as hell. Yeah, it's cold. Hot. Ready to loop. It's a simulator. These are real people. I don't want to be real people. Damn. Okay, crazy talk. President's idea. Good morning, Black Reef. Another day, another death. Aren't time loops fun? Yeah, I wish you would not have presented me two games with that idea. For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never ending party. Where hunting me is the main attraction. And no oh, matter okay. how I try to escape, they always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. Wait, wait. Okay, so there's an escape reality basically. Okay. You should start with that instead of saying, okay, I may have heard them and saying he was trapped in a time loop, not to be assassinated and kept in the same piece room. Piece them together, the puzzle. There's eight targets. And they all gotta die before midnight. There's just a wolf one guy. little snag. You thought it was going to be easy? Oh. Juliana Blake. Black Reef's protector and a real pain in my ass. She may kill me a million times, but eventually, inevitably, I will break this Fucking loop. Death loop. Wow, that sounds like a B movie title. It is right with that in the second time, but not the same word. Okay. So. Die. Die. Again. I mean, this has the potential. You should start with that, and suddenly you're considering the two assassins trapped in the same room. I should end up losing on that one. I'm not gonna lie! I dropped something that's why I was like, why? I yeah, that seems like, like a B movie, like Tarantino direct actor. I'm killing you. There's a difference. Oh, you played both of them. Okay. And I can't. Ah, I can't. It was alright. I felt like it was nearing the end, and I'm just like, before we're near the end. It was promised two hours. It was promised at least two hours. Who? New game. Very close to a crouch. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, Cold silence. The bush is empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Hmm. What is it? Mother's this? worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest. Deep. This has to be like God of War. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. You're really into that stuff? Quit being so paranoid. It's Jason, isn't it? No, no! Friendly! Friendly! Who are you? Who sent you? What are you? They're 
coming. Who is? Okay, what's going on? Zombies, zombies, and zombies. I don't know what this is. Death cults. Okay. What the hell? Huh? I'm generally intrigued. I say that because I don't the plague too. Is it the second plague game? Oh, three D X lady, Torian London, uh, more three D lady. What is this? Hello, Wolfman. Okay. Village. Oh, Resident Evil 13. Chris? Sorry, Ethan. Okay. I was intrigued. I was. I was like, what is this? Is this like a Wolfman game where you actually get to play? Play as the Wolfman, cause that'd be awesome. I think of the duality, you could do a story like that. Oh my gosh! No, it's Resident Evil. I'm not a big fan of Resident Evil. I'm just like, eh, okay. I can't stop carrying after your Leon. Yeah, Leon, that was a Resident Evil four. Okay, I'm gonna sit back down. I was saying enough for that, cause I couldn't hear the screen at all. So I was like, am I just hearing things? I am Spaceman. I swear, that's a freaking Coca Cola. Okay, interesting concept already. But, like the spores, like reflecting people who live there. Sega. Isn't that second logo? Oh, hello, creepy cat. What is this? Let's log in this. Whoa. Okay. What am I watching now? I'm invested now. I was invested before, but I was like, oh, well, what's going on? Oh. Okay. Okay, it's one of these kind of a game. Okay. Pragmata. What is that? Did she just speak backwards? Freedom. Our freedom. Yeah, I never would have gathered that was Earth. 2022, okay. I felt like that was Earth the whole time. It's like, they're not going to do an Earth plot. It's mostly Earth. And so, like, yeah, it's Earth. Big, big, big twist. It's not that like I hate the twist. It's just like, I saw it coming. So it's not a twist if you see the twist coming. Okay. That being said, you can see a twist coming if, it's a, if it works in some narrative. Okay, PS2. It looks interesting. Don't know much other gameplay. This is obviously Crash. No, I'm kidding. Sharon Island. I think it'd be funny if this was a crash bandicoot. Just throw everything out the of the lines. Perished a thousand years ago. 
their great cities turned to graves. Oh. In their place came new life. I mean, this looks nice. But the animation on the animals don't show. Okay, I was worried about that direction. The new dangers. Oh, beyond. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. That is good. Oh, oh my gosh, it looks great. I must find a way to stop it. Okay. Okay, that's oh, me. That's 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 surprising. Of course. Horizon Zero Dawn, the sequel to it. So Horizon Second Dawn. Oh my God, it looks beautiful on this. The giant Atlantis girl too. Us all. Hello, dear people. Oh my God, I'm invested. I, I, I haven't played the first world, one. but it looks good. Oh my no God, I won't explore. Just that visual of those crabs. That looks awesome too. That weird. Uh, Dilophosaurus crocodile thing. Oh, if you no see that'd be awesome. I won't unlock. Oh yeah, wasn't the whole plot was that it's post-apocalyptic, even though we all knew that? But I heard it was there in the narrative of the game. I won't cross. Yeah, I feel like this is nice because it adds new environments. It looks nice. This oh, mission my God. is mine alone. Horizon. Oh my gosh. If I falter. If I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop oh, what's San coming. Oh, San Francisco. Again, I don't know the story of it, but I'm not like, oh my gosh, that guy. Like, I don't know the story at all. I heard some great things about it. Like technology and history. It just looks awesome. Right it looks visually awesome. Horizon was called Forbidden West. Okay, that's intriguing. Whoa, what's going on? But whatever comes. Oh my gosh, it's the Easter Link from more of the room. The last one doesn't look bad. Okay, it looks good. It does. Good. Kudos. Congrats. It looked good. It looked good. It, it bueno. Well, yeah. On behalf of the entire team at Gorilla, we're happy to share the first look at Horizon I have to my because I said Gorilla. We're continuing Elga's story as she moves west to a far future America. To brave a beautiful but dangerous frontier oh. masked with mysterious new threats. Get ready to explore distant lands ravaged by massive storms. And take on new powerful machines as you return to the majestic world of Horizon. Stay tuned for much more. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. It looks good! I like a release date window. I mean, like, it's coming out in 2022 or 2021. I think 2020. Oh. Oh, I yeah. There's a lot to look forward to for the community. Big fans are going to be really pleased. As a game designer and storyteller, this oh, is Oh, yeah, because of COVID, they're all at home. We're talking a whole new generation of ideas and experiences that we can create for the player. No matter where they are, no matter who they are. New experiences like, like you just never look had before. Just More like, iconic, like, oh. interesting characters. More atmospheric, immersive worlds for players to explore. But I, I like that they're all players. working from home and still working on this. So I think it's a new can't wait. We can't wait to share them with you. It's so exciting. Incredibly exciting. It's really about for the players and for the As a developer, it's an amazing feeling. Welcome to PlayStation 5. Thank you. I feel like there's gonna be one more reveal and then they're gonna end it. But it looks so great already. PlayStation 5, wow. I'm just already speechless. Yeah, that's the way I started the show. Are they gonna show the console? Are they gonna show the console? Are they gonna show it? It's just like it's a mold in that console. That'd be awesome. I don't know if I want the console to look like that. I imagine I'm looking at something cooler. Yeah, it's making the console. It has to make the console. 
we have not seen the console yet. We, we see the controller. We've seen games. We have to see the console now. I feel like we deserve to see it. Yeah, this is the console. Short torch. Oh my gosh. That looks slick and sexy, and I love it. It looks good. Oh my gosh, it does look good. I don't think that was the right direction they could have gone. I think it needs to be flatter, but it looks nice. If I can't really lie that down. But yet again, it has a sting. It looks more robotic. Futuristic. USB. It looks good. Reveal a price point and I'll be like, yeah, maybe I'll buy it. But the of those games they revealed. I might buy it. PlayStation 5, okay. Does it have a release date? Does it have a release date? No? Okay, I'm waiting for something like to be like suddenly revealed. I feel like Spider-Man 2 needs to be teased, even though we got the Miles game. I feel like we got enough of these shots. Would you like a release date, please? Oh, there's two different versions. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. I think the digital version is better. I like game the disc. Dual Sense, that was the name of it, not Dual Shock 5, but I think we all call it the Dual Shock 5. Charging station. Oh, okay. HD camera. Full 3D headset. Okay. Ooh, a remote. A media remote. That might make things a bit easier if you want. Reveal the price point. I feel like the digital version is going to be cheaper. We hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. I did. You've seen our most striking console design yet, and you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's features and power. At PlayStation, we believe in generational transitions, and we put years of work into making them happen. We want you to enjoy the unique benefits of moving from one generation to the next. Thank you for joining us. We're launching later this year, and we have tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5. Reveal more release day, or like when you're gonna do the next presentation of this. That would be awesome. Be like, be like, hey, we're doing this set. That looked awesome. That I think will be the main selling point of the PlayStation 5. I really do. Horizon, definitely. This has to be like a highlight reel of what they reveal. Yes, that game will also be awesome and will sell phenomenal. I feel like. I can care less about that game. Okay, World Big Planet looks awesome. That game looks really cool, really creepy too. That game looks cool. Whatever too. comes. Mm, that's all he comes. I will be ready. Rushing Clay! Oh, Rushing Clay 2! Oh my gosh. Not 2, but as well. Oh my gosh. Stray looks cool. Ah. I didn't care for that. The NBA game. Oh my gosh, this, this game looks awesome. That's the feedback. Yeah, the triggers. Show us the miles. Oh, I remember that game. The kid that was good. Joe Wire looks weird. The Godfall game looks interesting. I didn't see that game. Oh, that's the that was good. The rest of the evil game. I mean, there's some really good games in here. Like, I feel like Square Enix had a great reveal too, where it was like, oh, that was game with that. I don't even remember the name that it's on my head, but it's just like, it looks good. Astro looks good too. No, I'm not. There's stuff I'm not gonna lie about. There's parts I'm like, oh my gosh, that was great. It's just like. That game looks weird too. Ugh. Oh, uh. Volcano High looks good. I wanted one more look at the Miles game, because that just gave me goosebumps. Oh yeah! I might play that because it's a Christmas game too. Oh my gosh, that too. Oh! Maybe one more, like, tease. As much as I want to see, I want to see Spider-Man 2 tease. 
play has no limits. Just wow. Wow, that was that was good. The highlight for me was the Spider-Man game, because as much as I don't like Miles as a character, I am excited because I like the Spider-Man world that they built. I want to see more gameplay. I want to see how they program Miles, and oh my gosh, it just looks great. Russian and Clean was also a highlight. Horizon, the new one, looks great too. All the games look pretty good, even the ones I was kind of like, yeah, that would still look great. I wish they reveal a price point. That was my only thing I wish they could reveal, or maybe a target release date, but we feel like it's holiday 2020. It has to be that, or at least in the minimum fall, because that's when NBA 2K20 came 2K21 comes out, as you can tell, I was really upset about that one in particular. Anyway, I'm going to get to editing these guys. Um, oh my gosh, it was just a great stream. It was phenomenal. I'm going to get to editing. Have a good day. Bye-bye.